I'm Ryan McCaffrey with your IGN Science News. As the new Director General of the European Space Agency, Professor Jan Warner has reiterated his desire to build a village on the far side of the moon. When asked about his intentions for ESA, Warner told the BBC, quote, We should look to the future beyond the International Space Station. We should look for a smaller spacecraft in low Earth orbit for microgravity research, and I propose a moon village on the far side of the moon. The far side of the moon is very interesting because we could have telescopes looking deep into the universe, we could do lunar science on the moon, and the international aspect is very special. The Americans are looking to go to Mars very soon, and I don't see how we can do that. Before going to Mars, we should test what we could do on Mars on the moon." End quote. The International Lunar Base could complement NASA's future plans of snaring a boulder from the surface of a near-Earth asteroid into lunar orbit for exploration by astronauts. The Asteroid Redirect Mission, also known as ARM, will act as a stepping stone for manned missions to the Red Planet by testing out new capabilities and technologies. Warner expressed the idea of Lunarville last month, sounds like a Zynga game, before he officially held the role of head of the ESA. He said at the time that construction could begin any time when funding is found to replace the ISS in 2024. Furthermore, construction of a moon station, quote, would trigger a huge surge of technological innovation on Earth. It would be a step-by-step -step process that starts with construction materials and food, then produce water from hydrogen in which crops could be grown from greenhouses where researchers would remain for several months at a time. While the ESA has been exploring 3D printed lunar habitats since 2013, Warner suggests testing NASA's giant 3D printer technology that's currently being investigated to construct a Mars base on the moon first. Past studies have also theorized that self-enclosed habitats could be housed in lunar lava tubes as they reduce the construction needed for heavy shielding, provide environmental control and protection from cosmic radiation and meteorite impacts. For more on Lunarville and beyond, stay tuned right here to IGN.